Hey, you playa. If you feel like you're struggling with dating and just can't seem to find a girl to actually go out with you, there could be a number of reasons why. But the most common one that I see always come up is that fear of rejection. The fear of asking her out, and even worse, her turning you down, her just flat out saying no to your face. It's a really scary thing to think about, but Rejection can actually be the best motivator in your life to move you forward and to get you closer to actually finding a girlfriend. Here's how. Let's keep it real for a second. Dating is not that easy for the average guy. It can feel like there are so many hurdles, so many expectations to live up to, so many desires that women around you may have that you just feel like you don't actually meet. And whether there's truth to those claims or it's just a matter of you overthinking, the solution remains the same. You need to take more chances. You need to make more mistakes. You need to get messy. Having a fear of rejection is a very real thing, but learning how to conquer that fear is what's going to actually allow you to build that strength and character you need to succeed. It's the same as when you work out in a gym. You're not going to build those muscles in a day. You actually have to be consistent and stick to it. There are going to be days where your body is going to be aching and hurting and you're not going to want to actually go forward. But it's in those moments that you're actually making real progress. That your body's telling you, yes, this is tough, but I can do it. Some people might recommend that you should be approaching girls everywhere you go. It's the only way to get over approach anxiety. And while I think that's an okay strategy, I think there's a lot more than just focusing on the quantity of girls you talk to, but actually diving deep into the quality of the conversations you're attempting to have. Talking to a lot of girls might help ease your nervousness over time, but diving in and really asking yourself those important questions after every conversation is what's really going to help you grow and get over that fear of rejection. Asking things like, what did I say in that conversation that made her stick around? What caught her attention? What made her feel invested in talking to me? And similarly asking, what did I say that made her just instantly lose interest? When did she start to feel uncomfortable in the conversation? What could I have done to maybe win her back over to make her feel a sense of ease around me? Once you crack the code and realize that a girl rejecting you is not 100% entirely based on everything you did, but actually a multitude of different factors around her, it's easier to understand her rejection. Maybe she was running off somewhere and you caught her at a bad time. Maybe she was thinking about something that happened earlier and she was nervous or worried or not really wanting to have a conversation. Maybe she just felt like she didn't know you well enough yet and it was weird and awkward and creepy for her, but if you spend a little bit more time talking, maybe she would have responded differently. Another Another benefit to taking more chances in dating is that you're going to crush this preconceived notion you have of what your relationship and your partner is going to look like. A lot of times that idea is not really rooted in any type of reality. It's rooted in movies we watch or TV shows or relationships we observe around us. We paint this rosy picture that's perfect in our minds and we expect a real world person to just fit into that mold. But once you get out there and start talking to real women more consistently, your idea of what they want in a relationship is going to become a lot more grounded as well as what your needs are too. Like I said before, if you've never actually approached girls if you've never actually dated them, you don't really know what you want in a relationship because you haven't tested it out with an actual person. Now, for some men, having that real world experience might lead them down a pretty negative path. Maybe they're constantly interacting with women who are self-absorbed, only care about a man's money and his status and whether or not he drives a Bugatti. If you feel like that's constantly the situation you're running into, instead of painting women with this broad brush and saying they're all materialistic, they're all the same, think about where you're meeting these women. Think about the places that you're interacting with them. Maybe it's just a matter of changing your location or trying to get involved in different events and activities and meeting women who have similar hobbies and goals and interests that you do rather than just doing the same thing over and over, talking to the same women in the same environment. And if it's not, that's great, but you still might run into the problem of not feeling like you're good enough for any woman that you approach. Like you don't bring enough to the table, like you aren't valuable just in who you are. And I think it's important to really evaluate yourself, your life, your dreams, your goals, what you aspire to do, because I think one thing that most women will find attractive is a man who actually wants to take action in his life, wants to succeed, has a goal in mind, and is actively working towards it. You may not be exactly where you want to be in life right now, and that's okay. 
as long as there's hope and determination there, I think a lot of women will be understanding towards that. Now, there is a subsection of women that simply will not, but you have to ask yourself, are they going to be the people I'm the most compatible with? Most likely not. And perhaps one of the most important reasons why you need to be taking more chances in dating is because it's going to allow you to get over that one particular girl that you're hooked on. You know exactly who I'm talking about. It's that one girl that you're holding out for, that one girl you constantly think about, that one girl you're hoping a relationship is just going to magically develop with. A lot of guys find themselves getting hooked on one girl, and because of that, they don't really approach anyone else or they feel like no one else matches up to her looks-wise or personality-wise. To them, she is just perfect. She is the ideal of who she wants to date. But just like we said before, once you get out there into the real world and start talking to people, that ideal starts to crumble. You start to see what real women are like, what real people are like when you interact with them. Instead of holding out for one girl, why not ask out lots of different girls that you're somewhat interested in and see if any of those threads can develop to something more. Sure, you may not feel those immediate romantic sparks like you do when you think about that one girl that you like, but those are things that can actually develop over time. Those sparks can actually come from getting to know a person better. Not every single relationship starts with just, wow, it's amazing right from the get go. And even if nothing pans out with any of the other girls, you now have a baseline to work with. You can say with this girl, our personalities were the same. We laughed at the same jokes. We understood each other's sense of humor. We just felt the general sense of ease and being in each other's company. With another girl, it might've been that the two of you had a similar path and purpose in life. You were aspiring to do the same things. You were motivated in the same way. Once you can kind of compare and pull the best parts of all the girls you approached, you can now hold that up to the one girl that you're putting on this pedestal and say, does she live up to those expectations? Have I explored that with her? Can I really say she's someone that is the perfect partner for me if I haven't really asked her out? The real benefit behind taking chances is that you will make mistakes. You will encounter people that you just don't get along with at all, but you are going to learn more about yourself, your needs, other people's needs, and how to better interact with girls overall. And when I say get messy, I'm not just copying Miss Frizzle from the Magic School Bus. I actually mean get messy with it. Emotions are going to get involved. You're going to be nervous. You're going to be anxious. You're going to be afraid, but you're also going to feel confident excited, courageous, and you might encounter someone that you develop deep romantic feelings with. So put yourself out there. Take more chances. I know it's scary, but you have what it takes to be somebody great. And if you're struggling to figure out where you can meet girls you can actually date, I'm going to link up a video on the screen now. It's going to walk you through where to find them and how to start interacting with them. Check that video out and I'll catch you next time. As always, love and peace.